Friday Reader. Star Child by Claire A. Nivola. Read by Tie-Dye Reader Christy. Star Child. The Star Child watched the Earth from far away in the sky. He saw the tiny bright swirls of blue ocean and green land turning into the empty cold blackness of space. And he wanted so much to go there. Please, may I go and see what it is like, he begged. His elders said, you are a flame of vapor, invisible and timeless. To visit planet Earth, you will have to be born as a human child. At first, you will have to learn to use your new body, to move your arms and legs, and to pull yourself upright. You will learn to walk and run, to use your hands, to make sounds and form words. Slowly, you will learn to take care of yourself. Here it is, still and peaceful, but there the colors, sensations, and sounds will wash over you constantly. You will see so many living things, plants and animals beyond imagining. Here it is always the same, but there everything is in motion. Everything is always changing. You will be plunged into Earth's river of time. There will be so much for you to learn. And so much for you to feel pleasure and fear Joy and disappointment, sadness and wonder. In your confusion and delight, you will forget where you came from. You will grow up, travel and work Perhaps you will have children, even grandchildren, of your own. Over the years, you will try to make sense of that happy, sad, full, empty, always shifting life you are in. And when the time comes to return to your star, it may be hard to say goodbye to that strangely beautiful world. Think well, then, before you go. The star child listened, but his yearning was too great. He went, and all that the elders had said was true, for they too had once visited the earth. But ask him now if he is glad he went, and yes, he will tell you, yes. Tide Reader.